The answer is secure, and it's uh, June 1st, 2014, and uh, I haven't done a video in a couple weeks. Uh, I kind of went through a little sticky, gooey uh, trial that, you know, normally I could get through in a, right away, but um, it kind of reminds me of a little quote I heard when I was going through some videos yesterday as part of a tool that I got from my sponsor, business partner, and friend to help me get past what I was going through. Um, and it talks about molasses, you know, like being the goo that clouds up and, muck, you know, mucks up your brain and your vision and stuff and your, you know, where you're going and where you're at. That's kind of where I've been the last couple of weeks. I've kind of been in that negative, gooey, mucky, whatever, uh, based on something that um, was, t you know, passed on to me uh, about some information. And I kind of just took it in the wrong wrong vein. I, I mean, I took I took it personally. It was not said in a bad way or a mean way. It was just an observation somebody made. But I'm the one that internalized it and took it kind of in the wrong vein. But it took me into a negative vein. And it kind of took some of the inspiration and desire to even get on and blog and do some things that I normally love doing. I love doing my blogs. I love doing my videos. Um... And it took me out of that. And normally I can get myself back into the groove and do things and, you know, pretty much snap out. I got some good tools to use and good things to use that help me take me back to my place of where I focus in and, you know, capture what I'm feeling and what I'm wanting to do with my life and where I'm wanting to go with my dreams. Uh, this was coming from a different angle. Um, it was kind of referring to age and getting a little bit older. I haven't turned uh, another year older this year. Um, it kind of just took me out of my normal, you know, little where I'm at. Um, so in that, it really kind of, I just kind of stayed and fed it off that negativity. Knowing full well I have the power to get out of that negativity just by changing my perspective and what I uh, can do. But through this, it made me reach out and, you know, reach out to my sponsor, business partner, and friend um, to talk to her a little bit. And uh, she reminded me of some things. And then she also gave me access to some videos for a tool to use on top of some of the things I do normally use, which weren't helping at that time or I wasn't applying them the way I normally would have. Um, but going through the process yesterday after our team training and team uh, get together to re-energize and refocus our group towards where our group was wanting to go um, which was a great little team hangout we had more people on that than we've ever had so it was awesome it was good um, and we kept it personal and we didn't even broadcast it it was just for us but in this after that uh, she gave me some tools to use that uh, I can use and pass on to other people um, to help them when they go through something like this. Um, you know, we all go through ebbs and flows of our lives, ups and downs, things that happen and, you know, put us in, you know, mindsets that normally are not the most positive or the best for us. And that's part of life. It's just learning how to get out of it and get back to where um, you're focused back on what you're doing and what your dreams are and what you want. And through that process yesterday, I went through some stuff that Bob Vitale um, from the the secret the movie the secret um, he's a well-known author and has like tons of books and stuff and he's done some things to help people kind of in this same assistance where they're at, you know trying to get breakthroughs going to their next level whatever so in that point I used this technique to kind of go back into me and look at where I was at and what was holding me back or what was the thing that was bugging me or you know I'm was so focused on and not able to get past well I'm past it because of you know being vulnerable uh, putting myself out there and saying look I'm here I don't want to stay here I want to move to this next point you know and by doing that and having my mentor and sponsor and friend she's been through some of those same trials and things too so she understood what I was going through I said here try this this might help you know um, and it did you know, and the thing I used, it was called the secret mirror. And if you'd like to look into that, check it out. You know, um, 
you can either you know hit me up and I can tell you what it where I got the information from, or you can look up Bob Vitali and uh, do some research on him. I suggest it. I thought it was very good, very mind opening. Helped me a little bit to refocus and get past that and put that off and look at the future and go with where my future is and that I don't have to stay here. The future is here and to look towards that. So I did that and in going through that steps and process, I am now back to being revitalized, re-energized. Um, I'm here doing the videos. I love doing my videos. I love doing my blog posts. So therefore, you know, sometimes we go through these little temporary setbacks, but they're for good. And if I take it out that I'm and I'm grateful and humble and allow that to work through what I, my life and add into it, it's going to just propel me that much farther to where I get that much closer to my dreams. And I can also share this information with those that want to get involved with me, want to build their dreams, chase their dreams, go after their dreams. But with that, I'm just wanting to share a little bit of my heart and where I was at the, the last couple of weeks. I'm back um, with some new tools and to add to my repertoire. And you'll be hearing more from me and just watch out. Look out for more of my posts and uh, Facebook updates and things like that. And as always, make it a simply simple day. And thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.